लोहरि कृष्ण महाराज नी जय घनश्याम महाराज नी जय स्वामी नारायण भगवान नी जय सुप्रीम ऑल माइडी आर बिलवेड घनश्याम महाराज पाथ मेकर टू आर लिबरेशन पूज्य पाद गुरु जी पूज्य संतो एंड ऑल ऑफ यू डिवोटीज जय स्वामी नारायण You know, some individuals' lives are more interesting to observe than to mimic, meaning to copy exactly. Because no no matter how much you try, no matter how hard you try, you'll never be able to become like them. But just by observing, just by seeing their qualities if one can implement them into one's lives or one's life then one may benefit in a great manner shri ji maharaj brought down with his with him from his akshardham 500 nan santo and through these nan santos he did extraordinary work work of his philosophy his you can say upasana his agna work that was beyond any other past avatar and which will always be undiminishing in the eyes of all who observe but out of those 500 nan santo there's one saint that especially stands out all of them stood out sadguru muktanan swami sadguru gopanan swami sadguru brahmanan swami sadguru nityanan swami but today we want to take just a small glimpse in the life of sadguru gunatitanan swami such a saint whose life was decorated by the attributes of service speech and moral character you can say greatness such a saint who completely changed and revolutionized a certain region in the state of gujarat in india so much so that those people where he lived in that region of junagar worshiped him like god but today to understand swami's three attributes seva speech and greatness we're going to take a look into his life through each and every character through his divine incidents that he had or his charitras now before we even go into that you know saying our character speaks more than our words you can say just think about it mahatma gandhi mother teresa abraham lincoln such kinds of such kinds of characters who revolutionized history in to the extent where people saw them those outsiders such as mahatma gandhi who is just an old man with a stick but through his character through his life through his moral behavior he completely changed the face of a country so much so that he got independence for his own country through his character what more can i say not only that but a female with you can say no monetary funds or no kind of any pleasures of the world her name was mother teresa lived such a life that changed not only little boys and girls lives but she became a world figure through her mother-like character 
And finally, the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. A president who before, before becoming a president had to go through so much hardship, so much hardship in the fashion of his family, his financial status, his social status where his wife died. All this, yet, after he became president, he became such a great president that he abolished slavery in the United States. All these were iconic figures of the past, but in our religious manner, Sadhguru Gunatitan Swami, how did he represent Bhagwan Swami Narayan? How was his greatness spread throughout the whole Sampradaya? That's what we want to talk about today. So first and foremost, his first attribute that we'll be observing is seva or service. Now, I don't know if all of you knew, but Swami, after becoming a saint, was had become the head, or you can say the main person in charge of a whole temple in Junagar. And there, he ruled, you can say, or he managed for 40 years. Just think about it. If you had gotten the seat of, I don't want to give such a big title as a president of the United States, but such a title, let's say you're in your school and you have a student council. A student council has president, secretary, cabinet, and they make decisions for the school. It's kind of like a mini uh, political kind of group in your school to learn more economics. In that student council, suppose you get the title of becoming the president of the United States. Not the United States, but your school, council. Just think about how much power you develop that I'm the president of the student council. See my greatness. But Swami, after ruling or after managing such a high level post, he did the utmost, lowest kind of service to please Bhagwan Swami Narayan. That was his only goal. That's what we want to take from him through his charitras. So, at one time, in the village of Karyani, 19 saints became sick at the same time. They all became ill. At that time, in one or two days, there was going to be, there was going to be a big samayo in Vartal. So, in Samayu, you get to do great things. Sriji Maharaj also performed divine leelas there. So, all the saints and all the devotees wanted to go to the Samayu. And in that assembly, Maharaj said in Karyani that these 19 saints are sick. Who will stay behind and serve them? Everyone was looked at by Maharaj. But the only saint to raise his hand was Sadguru Gunatitanan Swami. He raised his hand and he said, I will stay behind and I will serve these santos, these 19 santos. And after Maharaj and his santos and devotees left to go to the Samuyo in Vartal, Sadguru Gunatitanan Swami served these 19 santos. Do you know how? He washed each and every sadhu's clothes. Not only that, he cooked for each and every sadhu, whatever they preferred. You know, if someone were to cook, they would cook one thing, right? Rice, kichdi, or rotli sak, one thing. That's it for all 19 santos. No. Sadguru Gunatitan Swami cooked for each and every swami. If one swami liked kichdi, he would make kichdi. If one swami liked rotli sak, he would make that. If one, another swami liked something else, he would make that. Meaning, every each and every day he served like this. Not only that, but he would also clean after each and every saint, their bathroom, 
he would give them a bath. Also, he would wash all the utensils, all the dishes, the eating bowls of the santos. Such kind of service he did for each and every day. Yet, not if someone knew what would come there, no one would know that this was such a month of Junagadh Mandir. So Swami did all these kinds of sevas. And after the santos got well, he decided to go to Vartal to join the Samayo. So there, when he approached Maharaj, Swami saw Maharaj, Maharaj saw Swami, Maharaj hugged Swami 19 times because he served 19 santos and he hugged him one time for him. So Maharaj hugged Gunatidan Swami 20 times and showed how pleased he was for his service. Such was the service of this, you can say, Mahapurush or this great Atma or soul. Not only that, but at one time, Sadguru Devanand Swami, he was a really great elite singer of Maharaj. He sang many, many great kirtans. He was going to Dharampur with Swami and he became ill, Devanand Swami. So Gunatidan Swami, what he did was he started to serve Swami. He did each and every task that Swami said and after he got well, then Swami relaxed and started his path again on Dharampur. Devanand Swami became so pleased upon Gunatitanand Swami. So pleased, so pleased that he said that, Swami, I have the art of singing and I want to teach you that art so you can sing like me. Gunatitanand Swami said, Swami, I appreciate that you want me to sing like you, but please do something where I can see the form of God constantly in my Atma. This is what I want from you. Akhan Vrutti. That's what he asked for. He did not ask for any kind of other things, any kind of other skills, talents, but he asked for this one. And that's how he pleased Sadguru Devanand Swami. You know, there's a kari that we sometimes sing that whenever you sing this kari, I want you to remember Sadguru Gunatidan Swami's seva, his service. The kari is Dasana dasa thaine vadi jere satasangama bhakti teni bhali manisha rachisha tena rangama. What does this mean? That means that whoever stays the servant of that servant. Meaning, suppose there's a servant of God. If one becomes a servant of that servant and serves him, then God says, I will become one with such a person. So Bhagwan is pleased by Seva. More than that, Bhagwan is pleased by Daspanu, you can say, or becoming the servant, the humble servant of God, his saints and devotees. Moving on. Speech. You know, there's a saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Now, this saying is something that is in poetry, but speech is such a powerful tool that by using it, one can become broken or one be can become made. Now, Swami was especially known for his talks. Because in that 40 years, when he was the month of Junagad Mandir, by the command of Sriji Maharaj, Sadguru Gunatyan Swami, all he did was talk, talk, and talk about the glory, the greatness of God, following the Agna of God, Sant Samagam, Great Satpurusha's Mahima, etc., and etc., and through his talks, there is a book collected with all these talks, and it's called Sadguru Gunatitanan Swamini's Vato, which we read as of today. These talks are so powerful even today that from my experience, by reading them, 
one's faults become eradicated one becomes peace at heart even 200 or 150 years later that's how powerful these talks are still so Swami all he used to do was talk talk and talk and these talks were recorded written down by his other santos and then collected into a book called Swami Nivato Swami Nivato is five chapters and it consists of 941 talks you can say now such kind of talks he was famous for but more than that in his day-to-day -day life in his daily routine life interacting with others how did he use his speech to influence how did he use his speech to change how did he use his speech to convert such bad people into good people that's what we want to look at today so one time Unatyan Swami was on Vichran and he came across a village where he met this devotee not devotee but you can say a kusangi by the name of Ramo now Ramo was sitting underneath a tree and every day he had one thing to do this was his habit he would go to the center of the village sit underneath the tree in the center of the village and eat meat and drink alcohol two things he did eat meat and drink alcohol now Sadhguru Gunatyan Swami observed his behavior and Swami asked Ramo one time that Ramo would a lion eat jalebi? Jalebi is an Indian sweet and what Swami is asking is would a lion eat jalebi? Ramo said, of course not, Swami. Why would you ask me this kind of question? Swami asked, why would he not eat jalebi? Ramo said, jalebi is not for him. Jalebi is for humans. Swami said that if jalebi is for humans, just think, animals don't eat food meant for men, but men eat food meant for animals. Do you understand what I'm saying? Rama right there, his mind clicked and completely understood Swami's talk where Swami was talking about how food meant for animals should be left for animals and food left for humans should be left for humans. Meaning, I should not be eating meat at all or drinking alcohol. He decided in his mind. After that time, right there and then, Rama said, Swami, I'm taking a vow on, be, on behalf of you that I will not commit these kinds of sins ever again. That's how Swami changed Ramo's life. Just by mere saying one or two sentences. Just think about how many people Ramo had met before in his life, yet he had never changed his bad habits of drinking alcohol or eating meat. But by such a great saint's words, his life completely changed and he decided to take a vow not to ever eat meat or drink alcohol. This was the power of Sadhguru Gunatitan Swami. Not only that, but I am reminded of another incident where Swami visited another village and he was preaching the importance of a human life and God and devotees. And suddenly, a few devotees came running and said, the village Brahman is going crazy. He lost his son and the Brahman is about to commit suicide. So Swami, please help. So Swami came running to the Brahman's home and told, asked the Brahman what's wrong. Said, Swami, my son is missing. I cannot find him. So I do not want to stay on this earth anymore. So Swami explained the value of human life, the glory of God, the saints, and talked about how God is the all doer everything is done by him by saying such kind of thoughts by giving such kind of thoughts to ramo or not ramo by giving such kind of thoughts to this brahman he completely changed his mind and he relieved him from suicide so this was the greatness of swami's speech you can say and finally character or greatness now just think about it if you were given such a high post 
of managing a temple. Yet, Swami, when he had to leave Junagar after ruling for 40 years, he did it in the snap of his fingers. Meaning, he did not have any, have any kind of attachment towards ruling such a big temple or such managing such a temple. This was his greatness. His greatness was beyond anyone's comprehension, yet he showed a little bit in his life to change others' lives. And through his greatness, many people's life were changed. Upon that, I'm reminded of a story. At one time, Gunatan Swami came across a small village with his saints, and he had to bathe in the nearby river, take a shower in the nearby river. So the temperature was so cold outside that all the santos and Swami went in the river to bathe. And when Swami came out, it was so cold due to hypothermia, he became unconscious right there on the ground. Now from afar, there was a mother, a boy, her boy, and her daughter observing this whole act. And her mother saw that Sadhguru Gunathya and Swami had fell and due to the cold. Now what they did for a living was collect wood. And they would collect the wood and they would sell it to others for money. This was their way of living. They were a very poor family with a very low status. But the mother thought that whatever we have collected for the day, he told, she told his son to take the wood and make a fire next to Swami. So Swami's body would warm up. Just think about such how, how you can say minutely this woman was observing. And so the boy asked, Mother, what will we do about eating? What will, do, what will we do about food? If we, give this, if we burn this wood, then we will not have anything because, for food. She said, don't worry, we'll find something else. But Swami there is very cold and unconscious, so we should help him out. So the boy took wood and went there and made a fire. And soon, in a couple of minutes, Swami's body warmed up. His blood started flowing and circulating, and Swami became conscious again. Obviously, Swami knew because he was all-knowing, omniscient. And Swami knew that the boy had helped him out, the mother had helped him out. But Swami said, what had just happened? So the saints explained to Swami that this boy came with wood, Swami, and ignited a fire. And due to the fire, your body became warm and now your conscience. Swami became so pleased upon the boy by seeing such a, a you can say, a moral act that Swami asked, what would you like? Ask. The boy said, Swami, my mother, my sister and I are very poor. We can barely get food in one day. We cut, live, we cut wood for a living and we sell it. And with the money we get, we buy food and that's how we live. Please grace us, Swami. So Swami said, it will be done. And Swami and his saints left. After that, the boy and the mother and his daughter went back to their life of cutting wood. But in a short period of time, the king of that kingdom was walking around the garden. And there he spotted the mother, the daughter, and the boy. The king did not have, you can say, a queen. So he was very eager. And he saw the daughter and he decided that he wanted to marry the daughter and make her a queen and soon after all the arrangements were made and the ceremony was done and she had become the daughter had become the queen of the king and due to that the mother and the boy also got to live in the kingdom and the boy in when he became older became you can say the head a uh, person for the king's army and he pretty much controlled the army you can say a general if you say in this these kinds of terms and that's how that whole family became happy due to the blessings of Sadhguru Gunatitan Swami just think about it if a sadhu asked please 
say anything and I will give you. And just by that, Swami said, it will be done. Imagine how powerful that great saint must be to do such kind of acts. But I observed, not only through Sadhguru Gunatidan Swami, but through Sadhguru Muktanan Swami's life, Sadhguru Gopan Swami's life, Sadhguru Brahmanan Swami's life, Sadhguru Nityanan Swami's life, I observed that this is this can only be done. These kind of acts acts can only be done. What kind of acts? Life changing. A person who is completely in the negative direction becomes on the positive direction and becomes such a prominent and elite in Ekantik Bhakta or a saint. All this can be done by a saint. But how so? Or I'm reminded of the Kadi that Santa Hune Hute Vardi Santare Ema Shri Mukhe Kahe Bhagavantare Santa Mana Jo Mari Muratire Santa Mana Jo Mari Muratire Tema Pera Nati Ekaratire Tema Pera Nati Ekaratire only if Bhagwan himself resided in such kind of saints that they would be able to do such kind of great tasks. I concluded with this after thinking and thinking that can these great saints have done it by their spiritual endeavors? No. All they possessed was the power of Maharaj. All they possessed was the power of their Sadguru. Due to that, they became great. Due to that, they became infamous. Due to that, they were able to change the lives of innumerable people just by their darshan, just by if wind were to blow across their clothes and that wind would touch another animal or another human or another tree just by these kind of acts person's life completely changes but how and so if Bhagwan were to reside in such kind of saints constantly that's the only way possible that these merits are possible so today we looked at Sadhguru Gunatidan Swami's life we observed his attribute of service his attribute of speech and his attribute of character and through his character, how he displayed his greatness. And remember, in the beginning I mentioned that some people's lives we can only observe. We can never become like them. But just by taking a glimpse inside of their life, we can tell, we can see, we can definitely display that their greatness was far beyond imagination but there's a saying that I read before and I want to go with you or I want to tell you that there's a saying it's called impossible is nothing meaning if one has a true ekantik sadpurush if one has his association if one is true to heart and if one has the effort to try then by His grace, by His power, one can become like Gunatinan Swami. One can become like Muktanan Swami. One can become like Gopanan Swami. But only if one has or only if one relies on one's Sadpurush more than anything else. Saying this, my Jai Swami Narayan. Shri Patim Shri Dharam Sarvade Vishwaram Bhakti Dharma Pajam Vasudevam Hare Madhavam Kesavam Kamadam Kar Swaminarayanam Nilkantam Bhaje Gansham Maharaj Nijay